Good afternoon and welcome to Humphreys Hall at 2 p.m. part of our You Are Home Live tour. We are currently outside on the back side of Humphreys just trying to show you what move-in day is going to look like. Yeah, here we are on the north side. Yes, north side. And uh, can we get your name? I'm Molly. Yes. I'm a student here at the university studying advertising and public relations and I'm about to go into my junior year. Fantastic. So, Thank you, Molly. So uh, you moved in over here to Humphreys, yes. right? Yes. I'm sorry, Yoakum. Exactly. We're at Humphreys. <laughs> We're at Humphreys. Sorry. So yeah. I lived in Yoakum. This is Humphreys, brother sister dorm. Mm -hmm. A little bit of beef between the two, but it's okay. <laughs> um, friendly beef, if you friendly will. Friendly beef. Um, this is Resident Reserve parking lot. Yeah. So soon y'all will try to figure out what parking permit you get. Cross your fingers for Resident Reserved. It's probably the best parking you can have on campus. And so you're going to come back here on move-in day, and there'll be a tent set up where you will go to the tent. We'll actually them, have a tent right here, I think, for right Humphreys. Here. Yeah, Sweet. right here. So right here, it'll go to the tent, give them your student ID. Um, they'll hold on to that until you go to your room and an RA comes by to make sure everything's okay. Yeah. Um, they'll give you your keys, your fob, which is so important. We'll talk about that here in a sec. Um, and then you have 30 minutes to move in, and then from there, you, you can go park at Harmon or... Do whatever you need to do. It shouldn't take that long to move in. There are dollies that are gonna be here. Um, however, we do suggest that you do bring your own just because sometimes it's easier and everyone's Never trying hurts. to use it. Exactly, to have your own so, dolly. And we are doing a special presentation just on move in. Just on move later in. Later during so, this yes. uh, series of tours. Yes. So we're here on the north end. Let's go to the south end. The south of, end of Humphreys. We'll show you a little bit of location. So right here is going to be the yeah. Business College. Oh, Walton um, Business College. Walton Business College, the famous Arkansas degree. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll come inside. Some nice air for two seconds. There's a doorbell. And we're being fobbed in. There's your fob yeah, so right So here's there. your fob. Yeah. So you have to have that to go into every single building. So if your friends are not living in here, you have to come downstairs to fob them in because the security is very strict all over security the Security is strict, indeed. And so we're heading over to the south. Sorry, this is the north entrance, I believe. Yes, this is closer to Rogers. This is north of the south. Yes. It's a behind <laughs> So out here is a little bit nicer kind of area. This is considered the Backs. front door of Humphreys. Mm -hmm. um, so we have some, we have a grill that people can use. Mm -hmm. have some outdoor seating and then right here some grass area where people play football a lot or soccer or whatever your heart desires. That's Bruff over there. This is Bruff. So this is your closest dining hall. Mm -hmm. They're open for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, there's also a place right below it where you can use your dining dollars to go and get a snack if you wanted to. That's all included with your meal fees that are required for freshmen. And then we also have Gregson right next to it, which is an upperclassman dorm. And below in Gregson is a thing called Class Plus, which is a really good thing to use if you're struggling in a class. You can go to tutoring appointments. Um, some classes require SIs, so that's where some SIs will be. There's tutors, I think, available there. We are recommend yes. that you go there even before you're struggling. I mean, like, be, be, be preemptive. Come. Yes, I used it for French, I used it for, what other class? Creative writing, just anything, just to help me. Because sure. you need to get an A. Um, right here's gonna be Founders. So Founders is one of our newer halls on campus. It also has Slim Chickens, Rocket Taco, and a Greek food place inside where you can use your dining dollars or at 6 p.m. you can do meal trade. Which is the best thing to do. Very nice. Kind of sick of dining hall food. And then that's Kimple, which you can Kind of see. Yeah, it's poking out there Not in the corner. Really see. So okay. that's the journalism, communications, English kind of college. An area you know well, being a uh, PR yes. ad major. It is my new life. It's currently getting an updo, so that makes me super happy. Right, well, who, who is this we have here? Hey, what's going on? Hey, um, I'm Joe Yavara. I'm the CRE for Humphreys Hall. Uh, so I basically run the daily operations of the hall. Um, nice. Looking forward to seeing. A camel uh -huh. um, because of Humphreys hump oh, camel right. so okay. um, pretty cool stuff that uh, is cool. yeah but it's a great location 
it's a wonderful hall. Uh, we have a really great community that happens here in Humphreys. For those of you who are going to be a part of the Music LLC that's on the fourth floor, or the Army ROTC LLC that's on the ninth floor, those are great communities too. I'm really excited to have you. I know the RAs on those floors are excited to meet each and every one of you. So welcome to Humphreys Hall. Um, hope you like what you see and uh, hope to see you in the fall. And Joe, is this your second year here? This is my this is my third year. Third year. Going on my third year. Okay, here, yeah. so you're a veteran I of am. Humphreys. Yeah. Right. What are some of the programs you guys have done here that you feel like have been pretty successful or yeah. you know, helpful um, for students to meet each other? Definitely. So a lot of the programs that we do here, um, especially in the first six weeks, are designed to help uh, students meet one another, meet their neighbors, meet their RAs. So uh, I will be sending out a newsletter here closer to the fall uh, with all of those dates. Uh, we have a program where uh, you get to pie your RA um, while kind of learning more about them. Uh, like put uh, a pie a in your resident assistant's pie. face? Yeah, a physical pie in their face. Ah. Um, lots of fun. Uh, that's one of the programs that we, we've done traditionally. We've also done a multitude of programs that uh, take place on uh, different floors simultaneously. Um, from Taco about the World where we talked about study abroad opportunities and had different taco toppings on each floor. Um, to uh, alcohol awareness programs uh, with different activities from each floor. So look forward to all those um, this fall. Yeah. Be really great. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Joe, yeah, for no letting us know. And Kimberly says, uh, howdy from Dallas. We'll say oh. it back to her. Hey. Howdy from Fayetteville. Hi, howdy from Fayetteville. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Joe. I yeah. appreciate it. Okay. All so right. let's continue our tour of the various different yeah. sort of Common spaces. I think we're going to go look at uh, the mail. Is that yeah. Right? So or that, just yes. real quick, this is our office right here. So mm -hmm. if you ever had any questions, you were wanting to, um, if you had really big packages that came in, you'd have to come in here. There's certain package pickup hours. Always be courteous of that. Yes. Um, I mean, it's on the front door. So if you ever get confused. Indulge yeah. me just one second. I love this picture. I always see it every time I come in yeah. about our resident assistants. Superheroes, they are indeed one of the one of the great communities. Really, Humphreys is really one of the great communities. So yeah, you would go here for your packages, as you said, and yeah. you can check out stuff. So right here are some pretty cool old school mailboxes. Right. On your Arkansas email, you'll get an email where you and your roommate will actually share a mailbox, and in that email, it'll tell you what mailbox it is and the combination for it. So any type of small letters, anything, they'll all go here. Um, and then there's another one, and we'll show you that in a second. Okay. So, there's some study space back there? Yeah. There's one big, huge group study room. There's a lot of group projects on campus. I mean, just depending on the class that you're in, but here's a good thing to use. I would say one of, the, one of the little known secrets about Humphreys is all of the study space you have. There's really good study space in here. Um, so, a big group table in here. There's a whiteboard that you can use. Bring your own expo markers just in case. Mm -hmm. I would always do that. Library here on campus, Club Mullins. Um, it's always busy, especially during finals week. <laughs> it's really hectic. You may never find a place to study. So use what's in your hall. Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and I just realized that um, I left that power, uh, that hotspot, in there. So can we dip into the uh, yes. office for a second and grab it? I have a mobile hotspot that I'm using. It helps me stay live at all times. I'll hold it open for you. Thank you. Here's the office. Here we are in the office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and let's continue with the tour. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So here's another one of our kind of common areas, hangout spot. <laughs> you are two hours from Tulsa. Five-ish hours from Dallas, three and a half from Kansas City, and five from Memphis. Nice, nice. Um, this, so this is just like a regular comments area where you can come and hang out, you can study if you want to. There's outlets on the chairs. This mm -hmm. is why random things are kind of poking out right here. Um, and then there's ping pong tables. You, there's always ping pong chairs. Oh, yeah, the outlets on the chairs. That's kind yeah. of a cool detail. Outlets on the chairs right here. Uh. And then ping pong and pool table, foosball tables. There is a piano over here because this is the music LLC. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a flat screen TV where you can always watch a movie, watch The Bachelor, whatever is on that night. Yeah, what are you watching these days? 
Um, well, I just finished Army Wives, and I'm watching Gilmore Girls. Currently. Watching Gilmore Girls at the moment. Yes. Okay. So. No spoilers, please. No spoilers. Even though that series is old, it right? It is so old. Like, that series is 10, it's very if not old, more. But it's good, because it's good. I was, I didn't Timeless. know. I've literally watched everything on Netflix. Things I've done my freshman year. <laughs> all right yeah. so this is a big common area that you're welcome to use as much as you'd like really big common area just get out this door and this is a co-ed building mm -hmm. um right here is going to be our kitchenette so yeah. you can rent pots and pans from whoever's at the front office and you'll just leave your student id there There's well we say you say rent but really just borrow borrow you don't yeah. have to pay for it you just no, check them out you don't have to pay for anything um, so this is going to be your fridge if you have something cold and you're wanting to cook something because you're tired of dump haul food and mm -hmm. sink, stove top, microwave, yeah. So utilize everything that you have here. You're paying for it after all. Very nice. And uh, <laughs> Jackie and Jennifer, we're glad you joined us and are checking in. And this is something else that's cool. Instead of getting water bottles, which you don't really need because that takes up space, um, you have refillable waters right there, and right now we're at six thousand or sixty-three thousand one hundred thirty-four. Man, you're drinking bottles water. Of water. Yeah, it's hot here. It's real <laughs> humid right now. It's warm. Very. Okay, so what do you say we go down into the ground level? Yes. Deep into the the heart of it. We will see the laundry room downstairs. Um, another cool hangout spot. Vending machines. Yeah. And feel free, I'm, I'm curious, uh, feel free to say where you're from. We'd love to know where you're coming from, that you're coming to Fayetteville. Is it uh, uh, somewhere in Arkansas, somewhere in Texas, yeah. somewhere in Oklahoma? Are you from Rogers? Are you from that's Rogers? From. Yeah. Yeah, so of course there's the elevators right here, but we will show mm -hmm. you the laundry room first. Laundry room. Yeah. Laundry's important. Laundry is very important. If you don't know how to do laundry, you should probably learn, start learning now because I called my mom a lot saying, I don't know what to do. Is this your darks? Is it lights? I don't know. <laughs> Jennifer from Houston says hello. We say hello Look, back to you. Houston, I've never been there. Um, so we have washers on this side, dryers on this side. Something to definitely use whenever you're going to wash your clothes is we have this little QR code on the washers right here that you can scan with your iPhone or whatever phone that you have, and you can or you can download the app on the Apple or Android store and you can scan that and it will tell you whenever your washer is done washing. So you can come down here, you can go to a room once you put your stuff in, come down here and it will alert you whenever it's done and then you can move it into the dryer. Um, if you're not doing your laundry and you're wanting to do your laundry, it will also tell you what is open. So with 423 students living in this dorm or this hall, there's a lot, so right. you're not the only person doing So no, no wasted trips down here to see if anything's No open. wasted trips. Check your phone, check the computer, then you know. Best time to do laundry is during the day and definitely not on Sunday. Everyone does it on Sunday. Lessons learned. Hey, Lori from Hot Springs. Glad to have you here. Hello. Jackie from Van Buren. A pleasure. Go Pointers. Yeah. What would you say? Go Pointers. Van <laughs> mascot. Well, there you go. So right here is the laundry alert system that I was just talking about. In case mm -hmm. y'all do forget, it is on the wall. Um, and it tells you the directions for everything. You can also do it online if you want to. But it's something really good to do. It gives you an alert on your phone or it can send you a text message or on your computer. So I would definitely use that. Yeah. Kimberly asked, is there a cost for using? No, there's no. not a cost for laundry alert. And no, it's there's not a cost in your fees. for... It's all included within your housing. The money you paid to housing covers that all. Yeah. The only thing, which we're about to see, mm -hmm. that is not included in any of your housing fees is going to be the vending machines. Yeah. So the vending machines you can pay with cash, card, or Apple Pay, which we discovered. Yes. Pay with um, your wristwatch if you want. Pay with my wristwatch. <laughs> so we have some drinks, snacks, some more drinks, coffee if you're a Starbucks lover. I just like Gatorade or water. Mm -hmm. um, and then right here is recycling. We have our plastic, newspapers, mixed papers, and aluminum. Highly encourage you to use it. Highly encourage it. We're a very big green campus. It's all about saving the environment. It's so. a natural state. The natural state. Um, what do we got over here? Right here is going to be kind oh, of... Oh, I was thinking about these tone telephone oh. booths. Oh, I'll tell you this fact. <laughs> Fun fact. These were built after, afterwards. But way back when, before these were here, Humphreys was all male dorm, and then Yoakum was all female dorm. 
and they had the option of choosing either air conditioning or telephones. So Yoko and the girls, of course, decided to use the telephone so they could call guys, girls, parents, whoever they wanted to call. And the guys, of course, chose air conditioning. So it's just some fun fact, but yeah. they do. They did Since that up, time, I guess they did put it. Yeah. No, they did a, end up putting it in here. And we had like landline telephones in there. Yeah, oh, yeah. The ones with the cords, not yeah. the iPhone. Right. And okay. then this is another study room. So a lecture, if any of y'all want to give a lecture. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a podium there. there's right a podium. there. You can deliver your... Embarrass yourself. Yes, your important messages. Musical people you can play. Okay. It's, a, it's a big space. There's a lot There's here. a lot of space in here. There's some tables over here and chairs. So you can do a lot with it. Just like we said, utilize all of your resources that you have here. So let's see, was there anything else we wanted to see here on the ground floor before we go the upstairs? Ground, Is there a trash chute down here? Yes, or? so there's a trash chute on every single floor. It's how you're gonna dispose of your trash. However, cardboard is not allowed to go in the trash chute. Mm -hmm. right this would be the bottom of the chute. We could show them. Yeah, this is the bottom of the chute. We could show them uh, the one up on the ninth floor. Okay. But this will be where it goes. Maybe it's not this way. It's this way, maybe. Oh, okay. okay. I lost it. I'm so confused right now. Because <laughs> it's enough oh. like Yoakum, right? That it feels it's a so, little Yoakumish, and then yeah, like the trash chute in Yoakum, it's like this side. Yeah. But anyways, there's a trash chute in every single floor, and so basically with that, you're just gonna throw your trash down there. And it's gonna go into the trash chute. Don't throw it into the bathrooms because I get really mad about that. Mm -hmm. Um, cardboard, they'll have a little dumpster outside where you can put the cardboard, or you can come down to the basement where they'll have an area designated for cardboard. <sighs> All yeah. right. So now so. we get to wait on the elevator, which, you know, that is kind of a thing. We are going, you will have to wait on the elevator from time to time. Yeah, especially on your way to class. And we're going to the ninth floor. Mm -hmm. Fun fact about the elevator. Do tell My me. roommate on the first day of school, which wasn't even the first day of school, we were about to go through sorority recruitment, dropped her phone down the elevator shaft. So she had to put in her maintenance request on Friday. However, they don't work weekends, so she couldn't get her phone until Monday, and it was completely destroyed. But oh my gosh. Did they recover it, though? They recovered it. She got it. It's just very cracked and not accessible. So don't let it go down down there, right? Is that is that where she dropped it? Whoa! Yep. Ah! <laughs> Okay. Um, there's an RA on every single floor, so this is the person who's kind of in, in charge of the whole floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually an upperclassman, and you can go to them about any questions that you have, if, suggestions for classes, basically anything. <laughs> They're here to help you, and they want to be your friend too, so really get to know them. Right here, we're going to have another study room. Yeah. This is why Humphreys is so good. Parents, I know you love this. There's one on each on each floor Every as well. Every single floor. So it's going to have some little chairs with desks that you can pull over and use. And then it's going to have a couch and a TV. If you are doing um, a project where you need to plug your computer into a TV to make it bigger so you could show your presentation, you can do that. And then, actually, we'll go and see the view over here. Mm -hmm. It's a really good view. So, you are center of campus. Smartest decision ever. Congrats to all of y'all. <laughs> um, so, you can see the stadium from here. Why don't you go ahead and um, lift up the uh, blind we can see in there. Yeah. Whoop. Aha. So, you can see the stadium over here, which is currently being worked on. They're adding mm -hmm. in some box seats and a jumbotron, which will be finished soon, hopefully. And then this is the outside that we showed y'all earlier. Um, you can somewhat see Mullins from here. You see Mullins? The library? You can library? see Mullins, yeah. What is, what is Mullins for those of people who are just arriving? It's the white. Oh, oh, oh look. It's that white building it? right there. Touching it? Okay. Touching it. All it's right. the white building right there, and it's a four story library. Mm -hmm. The basement being utter silence and um, the first floor is just the floor that you walk in on which has usually all of your um, computers there's so many that you can use second floor you can talk or you can't talk third floor is the only talking floor so you can go to the third floor and actually do group projects they have some study rooms also in there that you can rent out with your friends so it's all about utilizing everything that you have so there's campus. some spaces on campus where you can study. Very. Okay. Spaces there's everywhere. I like to go inside the law library myself. So 
There's our Segas. Las Segas, right? Oh, yeah. Our Segas in the law school. They have. Which our Segas is a local uh, company as well, so always good to give them a shout out. It's on Dixon Street, the big one. They have really good crepes. Oh, the depot, yeah. And we're going to go down this way. And we will show y'all the bathroom first. Mm -hmm. um, there's four bathrooms on every floor. So this side of the hallway, obviously, is just going to use this bathroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. four, four sets of bathrooms. Just making sure. No yeah. one's in here. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. okay. So in here, we're going to have our shower right here. It's a little different. So right here, it's just kind of like your common yeah, two people can hang area, out and be like, what's guess. up? Cool. Are you shower over here? You're showering over here? Yeah, so this will be one shower right here. It's kind of small, but you don't okay. get a whole lot of space to shower. It has some shelves right here. Something I would very highly suggest for y'all is to bring shower shoes um, to have a shower caddy, not the plastic kind. That kind's just annoying to use, the mesh kind. Bring that with you so you don't have to carry all of your stuff and a robe and, of course, a towel. So, always good stuff to have. Always good things to have. Watch your stuff. And how many sinks do we have? We have, we have four sinks. Four sinks. Now, four everything sinks. you see here is times four per floor, so yeah, four you actually have 16 sinks all across the We have two floor. bathrooms right here. Mm -hmm. so Just normal. basic bathrooms, nothing surprising. There. And the best thing, because, girls, this is your floor, as you have a four full length mirror. Yeah. So you can look at yourself in the mirror just like this is my first time actually looking at my whole outfit as a whole. So <laughs> doesn't look four too length, bad. Four length, not too bad. Tennis shoes don't look too bad. Alright. And then we'll go into our typical room. If you're 925, it is your lucky day because yes. this is your room. Alright, so. It's 925. 925. Thank you, my tape measure. Just thinking about that. So yeah. right now you can ask us any questions in the comment box and we can measure anything for you or answer any questions in that fact. So this is going to be a typical Humphreys Hall yeah. dorm room. Let me go ahead and give them a kind of a pan. Yeah, the give them 360. Yeah. So nothing is movable besides the beds. Um, you can request to get them lofted. If you go to housing.ur. They go high. They this go very high. high. Yeah. Go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. And you can put in a maintenance request before you get here and they can lock it for you. If you don't, however, put in the maintenance request, you can actually do it yourself. It's not that hard. I've done it. And you, we suggest that you bring a rubber mallet so that way it's kind of easier to do it. Um, it's always nice. We have some, but it's always nice to bring it yourself because move-in day, it's hectic, it's crazy, and everyone wants to use it. Jennifer has a question for us. Yeah. She asks, um, how high from the floor is the bed if the bed is lofted to the third bar? And actually, I think this well, one is third, right around the third bar. Yeah, it's on the third bar. Or it's on the fourth one, bar. One, two, three. It's on the fourth bar. So, to go to the third oh, bar. I think she means like these bars. One. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, if it's, if this is what you're talking about, Jennifer. Let's say about right here. 30. About right there. About 32 and a half. 32 and a half yeah. from around there. Yeah. And then can you measure the space where the mirror is? Yes. Sure. So this, oh, oh. Let's see if you the length of this is going to be about 70. Okay. On the dot. 70 on the dot. 70 okay. on the dot. And then what's the what's the uh, width, would you say? 25. So 25 by 70 25 is by 70. the width of that desk underneath. And then you that. also have some drawers right here. Like, I put all of my food in this drawer. Um, I put all my t-shirts in this drawer because I had so many. <laughs> um, one thing that I will say that would be super nice is don't bring everything at once. You can bring it by season. So girls, only bring your fall clothes. And then when you go home for break, you can bring all of your winter clothes in. It's usually pretty hot all the way until October. It still gets pretty hot. Um, and then, you know, you don't need a whole lot of stuff when moving into the dorm. And it is a small space. Um, and when you bring a lot of stuff, it makes it feel really cluttered. So sometimes openness is actually good. Um, something else I would suggest is bring in a fan because sometimes it can get hot in here even if you turn the thermostat, thermostat down. 
Um, yeah, this is one of those halls to be aware of that we transition, it's either all hot or all cold. Yeah. So it's, if you want to make, you know, micro adjustments to the temperature. Yes. Uh, so what you really feel is like on an unseasonably warm day during the cold months, uh -huh. you're, you're going to be a little bit, you might be uncomfortable. So it is. bring some extra blankets. Definitely. If it's a hot day, I guess like a cold day during the hot time, then you're also going to be off a little bit. So yeah. bring air conditioning, as you say, or bring fans. Definitely. Uh, we had a couple questions yeah. come in. Um, Jennifer asked, what's the distance between the beds? And we can give her that. You know, and also, uh, what were some of the standard sizes of uh, carpets we said would fit in here real nicely? Uh, six, six by seven, nine. Six by nine carpets should fit in here pretty nicely. That's on the end of that bed post. Okay, so let's subtract about an inch. 88 then. Okay, 88 with the subtracted one inch? Yes. Okay. So 88 would be the distance between the two beds. Rob asks, what's the difference between beds and from the desk to the end of the beds for rug size? Um, you know, again, I think, what, what did we say? Six by nine. Six by, a six by nine carpet is really going to do you yeah. well. Um, in truth, we recommend that you, you know, kind of be in the space for a moment mm -hmm. and figure out what works best for you once you've got yeah. here. And but, there's, we have TJ Maxx, we're the home of Walmart, we have Target. Just get it there when you get here. You don't want to bring too much stuff. You technically don't need a microwave since there's a kitchenette downstairs, but you can always definitely use that if you want to. Yeah, bring and, it on your own. and mini fridges. We have mini fridges for rent even that you can do. What's the difference between the bed and from the desk to the end of beds? I guess from the end of beds, I think um, hmm, I think we got that. Rob, if that doesn't answer your question, ask us again. We're happy to address it. Yeah. Um, and then Kimberly, what is the difference between the two beds? Assuming you leave it the way it is. Yeah, so looking for rug measurements. I think, you know, it's just a lot of questions about rug measurements, which I totally get. We, you know, it's nice. This floor right here is a tile, kind of a tile floor. So a, yeah. car a carpet would be not, would a little I mean, nice I, on the toes. I had a carpet and it was great, but also I kind of hated it because it shedded a lot and it was just kind of annoying. And it just, you know, like I said, it makes it feel more cluttered and it's already a really small space. So, you want to not bring as much. And you can always get stuff when you get here. It's a lot different when you're actually in the room, especially if you've never seen this room before. It's a lot different when you get here because you're expecting something a little bit bigger, but it's actually smaller. So. Uh, Jennifer asked, what is the width of the closet? So, yeah. let's see if we can give those widths to the closet. Well, it's enough space to fit all my clothes in it. So, it says a lot. 47. 47. Uh, from the outside one. So subtract an inch, I guess, on that side. Is about an inch on the other side. Is that right? About an yeah. Inch. Okay. About 47. Um, let's see. Shannon asks, how much are the fridges to rent? Shannon, I don't remember the exact price, but you can go to housing, uh, I'm sorry, movein.uark.edu and then follow under uh, prepare, you'll find uh, an area that says what to bring. Mm -hmm. And under what to bring will be a little header that asks, you know, you want to rent a uh, fridge and it'll give you all the information there. And I'll try to put it in the notes in the, in the comments after the show so I can make sure I give you that link. And Jackie asks, is it hot over by the window? Do we need light uh, blocking window curtains? And that's just okay. 80 if you wanted a curtain over here. Okay, okay. Um, it's only hot if you leave your blinds open. Mm. Fun fact, because... Me and my roommate, we love the natural lighting. We use it all the time, but we would get a class and it would get really hot when I came in here. Um, so as long as you close your blinds, you honestly should be good. You can, however, bring curtains if you want to. It's yeah. not a bad idea. You we could mount some blackout that. curtains if you wanted. Come on. I was gonna come to <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Let's hope I don't run out of tape measure. Is that the end? Yeah. 127. 127 inches is that full window width right there. Just so you know. And then the height she's getting right now. Uh, no! Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're pretty close there. I'll do it from like the right. There you go. Just add an inch to that and you should be fine. You're at 59. 59? Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Well, let's see what else do we want to show off. We can talk about the uh, internet cable right yeah. here. Yeah. So you can bring a TV in here if you want. 
you have access to cable and HBO even. Mm -hmm. So you can play HBOs. this. HBOs. Yeah, HBOs. Multiple HBOs. With an S. Yes. Plural. Uh, so you can plug this into the TV and you can get all those channels and you will have a remote in here. It's not in here right now, but you will have a remote that you can use to change the channels. Just make sure what, st what you see when you come here, it stays here because yeah. you will get charged for it. Yeah, we recommend that you um, take pictures whenever you first move in. That always helps to give you that documentation yes. so that when they come back afterward, you can be like, well, no, I mean, it was like this or it wasn't like this. Yeah. And I mean... Also, you can't put nails into the wall, mm -hmm. you know, because you have to pay for any damages that you do make to this room. So, command trips are nice, sticky tack is nice. Just make sure when you do come to leave after you've been here for a year, you get the sticky tack off the wall because sometimes that can still be on the wall and they can actually charge you for that. Right. So, Leftover sticky tape. Exactly. Yes, they will charge you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, um, hey, thank you everybody yeah. for tuning in. Um, we'll take another second or so to see if there are any more questions, but we've enjoyed talking to you about Humphreys. Yeah, and share this with any of your friends that are going to be living in Humphreys next year. And also, don't forget that we're also going to be doing another Facebook Live video about campus dining, about how to prepare for moving, and how to prep your tech before you get here. So, All right, you wave us out. All right, see y'all. Thank y'all so much.